Welcome to Camo Monster. Today we are going to learn the design of a packed bed or fixed bed catalytic reactor. First of all, we have to select a catalyst like uh, it is based on our process type or project. Like in our design of deacetylenizer reactor from the literature reference, we have the catalyst to be used 0.05 weight percent palladium over alumina catalyst. The reaction mechanism, most of the reactions are based upon the langmuir hinshelwood kinetics, but here is horuti polyani mechanism. Here it is single site conversion of ethylene and acetylene. However, every component have its own active site in general langmuir hinshelwood type kinetics. We have certain kind of operating conditions which are chosen best for the operation and conversion of our desired product. Like here is temperature 65 degrees centigrade and pressure is 20 bar. Okay. The first question that we have how to start our design of reactor is based upon the two, two things. You had have the reaction equations. Like here we have two reactions. In first acetylene is reacting with hydrogen to form ethylene. In second reaction, which is actually the side reaction, the ethylene is being converted into ethane, a side byproduct. We do not require it. So there are two reactions. There are many conditions in which you have a number of reactions and you are confused that which reaction you should take or which reaction kinetics you should take for the design. Because there is only a single formula that you will use for the design and that is W over FA naught is equal to, if you have, uh, there are two different kind of reactors, CSTR or plug flow. In mixed flow reactor, you do not have in to accommodate integral. W over FA naught is equal to XA over minus RA. But in the case of plug flow type reactor or fixed pack catalytic is, uh, an, is analogous to the plug flow type. So here we will use the integral W over FA naught is equal to integral XA over minus RA. So we need a rate equation. The difference between the stoichiometric and rate equation is based on the elementary reaction. Like here, the elementary steps for the reaction are seven. However, the stoichiometric equation is showing only one or two reactions, especially for the desired product ethylene, there is only one reaction shown. But there are some cases in which you have series reactions or parallel reactions like in steam reforming, like in catalytic cracking, like in reforming polymerization, oligomerizations, or many, many products like desulfurization, uh, coal hydrogenation, oxidation reduction. You have a number of reactions. So you have to select which reaction you have to choose to put into the design equation. The main design equation, again telling the this is only one. W over FA naught is equal to integral XA over minus RA for plug flow. It is the only design equation. The main confusion we have, we students actually have in designing a reactor is the kinetics. How to choose the kinetics? Because most of us has a num have a number of reactions in a reactor for which we are making the design. So there are two options you can use. For example, in my project, I have, uh, I have a naphtha cracking unit, redox oxy cracking like. So I have a single naphtha and hexane molecule, which is converting into 10 to 20 different molecules from methane, ethane, butane, propane, isobutane, benzene, different type of components. So my confusion is how I select the rate kinetics to be put into my rate equation, my design equation, so that I can solve for W or V. The first is I choose a target reaction. For example, the, my basic, my main reaction is it, acetylene plus hydrogen goes to ethylene. So I do not need this reaction, but it is a side reaction taking place. But I will base my whole design, I will use the kinetics of only my main reaction. So the volume will be calculated or the weight of catalyst will be calculated for my main reaction. 
and the side reaction will be neglected. It is little bit inaccurate but most common the side reactions are very negligible in the amount, concentration or extent so we can neglect it. But in certain, cer certain cases you have a number of main reactions like in steam reforming you have carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and hydrogen all are important to be taking place in the reaction and there are two very important reactions of it two very important reactions of shift reforming so you have to use both kinetics you have to collect the data of both kinetics like you need k values here the equation is different based on the mechanism but most basic equations are rate is equal to rate constant multiplied by the concentration power order exponent and which shows the order so the next step will be the collection of your kinetic parameters like in this case we have kinetic parameters this these we all are required because my rate equation is really complex you can see these this, these two are my rate equations for the both reactions. This is side reaction and this is the main reaction. So all the kinetic parameters are given in this summary. One biggest problem is the kinetics of a reaction is only obtained from the experiment. You, it is not based on the theoretical approach. So you can't find your reaction equations parameters in a book conclusively so you will follow a research paper related to your own reaction it will have certain kind of parameters you can use it may have uh, a different temperature uh, maybe you have three main reactions and you only found the main kinetic parameters for only one or two so you can choose clause and you have to do because there is no other possible alternative way to bypass that you should use the available kinetic data to solve your reaction equations in the best way you can and you can also choose the references of different research papers to solve your kinetic equation now if you have collected all the data for you have to select the operating condition of your reactor like you can have isothermal you can have adiabatic flow or you can have non isothermal for non isothermal operation the things become little complex and you have to study the chapter number 11 non isothermal flow or chapter number 12 in la uh, in later editions of non isothermal flow in which a equation of dt over db is given in the terms of reactor design but here we have considered the adiabatic case so we will only use a simple equation at the end in which the conversion can be found by delta H over CP node or beta factor 1 plus beta X this is simple that is simple case and not need it, it it does not need any further justification so if you have a kinetics like mine that is seriously complex like you can see here the rate equations are so complex and you can imagine it to solve it manually so don't worry you have a bundle of good softwares like you have MATLAB or you have a very amazing software especially for the reactor design and it is often discussed in the Fogler's book that is polymath I have also used the polymath because my equation was far more complex and it was based on the partial pressures for partial pressure you know you have to multiply the mole fraction of each component with the total pressure like m I have 20 bar so I will multiply 20 multiply by kilopascals and the unit are in pascals okay mole per mole palladium second this is pascal this is per pascal so I have to convert my equation my pressures into pascal this is really really important feature in the design of a reactor you have to consider the unit consistency so seriously because any unit problem, any single, any minute, any minor problem in your unit consistency can destroy your whole process of design. So be aware what type of units you are using. Like here, mole over mole palladium second. In most of the cases, you will find an equation like 
kilogram per kilogram cattle second liter per kilogram cattle second different type of units and it varies from the experimentation the people made and they quote in their research papers from which you obtain your data so the unit consistency check is very very important the next after you have found the kinetics you can put into the main equations w of over f a naught is equal to integral x over c like we have used the polymer software the code i have written is dw over dx is equal to f a naught over r a the, there will be a lecture on polymath or the solving so don't worry about it i am only telling how to follow the standard procedure of design of a packed bed reactor all the constraints are written down here and you can easily solve and the polymath result will show for conversion to 0.9 yeah, or 90 percent your weight of catalyst will be 1.45 moles this is what we need and even the goodness of polymath software is you can plot different type of graphs between the w or x between temperature or conversion x or from the rate or conversion data from where you can again obtain your kinetics to recheck whatever you have used is correct or not the results are shown when you get the weight of catalyst like i have the 0.05 percent palladium you have to convert that into the real amount of catalyst like i have 0.05 percent so this is 1.45 mole is representing the 0.05 percent of the total catalyst other uh, other is the support surface so the original mole will be 327.8 moles this is okay three to seven eight moles catalyst we have the molar weight and we can calculate the weight in kilogram which comes out to be 308.72 kilogram here now we can calculate the volume at catalyst because it has a packed bed and there will be a porosity so the volume comes out based on this the density is 550 the volume based on this is mass over density 0.5613 meter cube the average bed porosity is always there in the packed bed so dividing that porosity and total volume will be 1.603 meter cube or 1603 liter the other is do not make any important because BET is not related that much with a uh, reaction because BT shows the second layer of condensation and condensation actually does not involve the direct contact of the reactant and the catalyst on the surface it is actually the second layer of condensation so BT surface area is not that much important it is calculated here and you can find a hundred of different type of parameters that are discussed in the research paper of reference and you can quote them to increase your design steps because the design of a reactor is only based upon the calculation of volume or weight of catalyst it is too simple but the calculation of kinetics and solving it for getting a reasonable results is important and complex we have to assume a bed height like we have h is equal to 3 which is optimum as per literature so we can found, find out a diameter based on this because there is no any other constraint from which you can relate volume to diameter height there is only one equation v is equal to pi by 4 d square h only one equation available and there are two parameters unknown d and h so you have to assume something here like i have assumed the height so i get a diameter related to it now the design is almost completed for the pressure drop you can use the ergon equation it is available in the unit operations by McCabe and Smith chapter number seven flow past immerse objects or it can be found into the fluid mechanics by St. Joe book using this equation argon equation you can find it easily on the internet by calculating a superficial velocity which is based on flow rate over area area based on this diameter of reactor and Q is the total flow rate and here putting all the necessary and required parameter here one thing i want to tell it is a velocity of the fluid not the velocity uh, viscosity of your particle it is below viscosity of fluid 
and it is also the viscosity of fluid, not the viscosity of catalyst particle. So remember it here. And using the same procedure, you can find out the pressure drop. Here I have put all the values in the Ergon equation and it comes out to be 77.126 kilopascals. Here something you will see observed is the catalyst particle diameter because you can some sometimes you have obtained a PSD particle size distribution and you want to know how uh, what catalyst size I should select for my process. So the optimum would be in the range of 50 to 60 percent mesh size like you have a particle of 1 to 10 millimeter and your 50 to 60 percent size lies in for example 5 to 6 millimeter so you, you, you should choose that based on the cumulative mesh diagram. So I have here 10 millimeter taken from the literature the pressure drop is calculated and the design is completed. <laughs> I know it is really complex but it was all. So Thank you for joining us. Stay happy, stay blessed, and stay with us. Thank you.